I might cry during this part, but USF lost to Cincinnati. Dude. 37-34 when uh, Cincinnati scored with 12 seconds left right in front of my face. And again, it was just like Tebow. I knew they were going to do a quarterback draw, but the 11 people on the field didn't. How does that happen? I don't know. I do not know. And like in Daniels, if you look at Daniels' stats, there is no way they lose that game. 31 for 47, 407 yards passing, three touchdowns, no picks, and they lose. I don't know what to say, sir. I was watching three quarters of the game, and I had to leave because I had an emergency at the beginning of the fourth quarter. And when I got back to a television, the game was over, and I checked the score, and they lost. And I was like, how did that happen? Because last time I was in front of a television, they were winning. I almost threw up. I don't know if it's from the Bloody Marys or mimosas that I was drinking all morning or the sun. I almost threw up. Combination of the three. And all the screaming I was doing. Four. Right. Um, a shout-out to Mr. Uh, Lou Avis, the, yeah. the, the, the best guy to tailgate with. And if you haven't tailgated with us, you don't know what you're missing, and you can go F yourself because I have a full liquor bar, and you people don't show up. I've done it. It hurts. But you don't expect to do much the next day. That's all I'm trying to say. I don't know what the actual rule is on players being, like, on the sidelines, like, basically on the field. But Cincinnati was definitely breaking that rule. They had... It was all over the field. Well, they had their 11 men on the field, which is fine. But at any given moment, they well, it's had, more than fine. You have to have eleven men on the field. Well, but at any given moment, they had eleven. Or I'm sorry, three to like five coaches standing on the field, not like on that white area next to the sideline. Like on the field, like on the, on the field. So Lou and I felt like it was our duty to alert the ref that this was going on. Finally, when we got, I mean, we were drunk. But when the ref actually got close enough, he actually heard us and went over to the coach and told him to move his guys off the field. There you go. The coach threw his headset down and started yelling, and I credit all that to Lou. a boy, Lou. You, you don't want to F with Lou. a boy, Lou. And I'm, he's always chatting us up on Twitter. Always. Twitter. I'm just saying, you, you, you don't want to screw with Lou. Nah, sir. It's nah, gonna, son. It's gonna be a bad day for you. Nah, son. So, but the funny thing was, he's the ref said this in the third quarter. So the whole third quarter, uh, they're off the sideline. Fourth quarter, apparently it didn't matter. They were all on the field again. Hmm. I'm like, there has to be a rule against this. Where'd that girl come from? She's hot. Okay, focus. Oh, sorry. But it, uh oh, so bad. It's so the USF is now 0 three in the Big East. They were supposed to win the Big East this year. Um, They're now 4-3 and three on the year. What do we say? What do we say? What always happens? They suck in the Big East? Yeah. Well, now they're going to be in the Big Giant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm coming up with a name for that. Uh, <laughs> the Big Swole. <laughs> Can you just call it Santoro? Can we call it Rotun? Conference Santoro. No. <laughs> and it's because of your beard, Santoro. Not because of your weight. We love you. It's because you, you have a strong beard. So strong. So strong. It's almost Brian Wilson-like. Well, that's because his girlfriend keeps telling him to fucking shape. <clears throat> so. Well, that's done. USF is on a bye this week. So they at least can't lose, which is a good thing. Yeah. It's true. So, um, that is it. I'm going to go crawl in the fetal position and cry. Don't do that. You're better um, than that. I, I'm really not, though. You are, sir. You are. I am not. Uh, but we'll be back with the next segment for you. That girl looking at me. Don't.